Okay, brace yourselves because I'm about to drop a bomb that's going to absolutely shatter the most said advice in FPV realm when it goes to training. Just fly more. That's right, I said it. The advice that has been echoing through the forums, Facebooks, YouTube videos and really well-intentioned buddies is bluntly put, BS. Why? Now before you start sharpening your pitchforks and going after me, hear me out. The idea of just flying more is like telling a person that wants to lose weight to just move more. It lacks nuance and direction and frankly it also misses out on a big opportunity to actually get better. Let's just say it straight, flopping around will not get you anywhere. Let's paint a picture. Imagine yourself out there, controller in hand, drone buzzing like an angry bee around your head, you're doing the same loop, scratching at the same cursed corner of your flying field and scratching your head wondering, why am I not getting better? It's because flopping around and hoping for a different outcome while not really changing your approach is literally the epitome of insanity. Real training? Oh, that's way different beast. It's about deliberate practice. It's about seeing where you suck and saying, all right then, let's tackle this head on. So how do we pivot from mindless repetition into an actual tangible improvement? First off, identify your weakness. Cannot really go with this power loop? Cannot hold yourself at the same altitude all the time? This is your starting point. Next, isolate the elements. Set up scenarios or use simulators to practice exactly those maneuvers. No distractions, just you and the task at hand. And most importantly, look at people who seem to know how to do it. Their stick input may be a blessing sent to you by the prop gods. You can also check for YouTube tutorials and other stuff like this that actually shows how to do this thing. And I have made plenty myself. I think we're more than 70 in right now. Once you start getting the hang of it, begin to combine in those elements and integrate them into more complex sequences. It's like building blocks. You start building your castle from a little base and then you build a castle. If you first build a castle, it won't really like be there for too long. And while I'm at it, every single month I'm sending a free training calendar that tells people exactly what to train each and every day of the week or month. And this is available for absolutely free for everyone who is subscribed to my newsletter. If you are not subscribed yet, I'm going to leave it down below in the description box and in a pinned comment so you can check it out. And, and that's it. There's no catch. Once you have mastered the basics and started to combine them together, don't forget about the most important parts of FPV flying your body and mind and you may argue with me that it doesn't really matter because you are sitting down and moving your fingers but hey cardio will help you out with handling your stress and being more focused on what you are doing while your heart is racing meditation and some mental stuff will help you out in precision of your movement as well as the calmness of your flight while you are flying and also there's some exercises for you know your reaction times that are helping the reaction times and again, yes, I said it, FPV flying is not just flopping around and hoping for a better result with each and every time you are going through a track or trying to do some type of a sequence. It's complex. Especially if you are going the FPV drone racing way, it gets really complex really fast. And I'm talking about all of those things in my course called FPV Academy, in which we're going into detail on how to actually train, what to actually train, and there's a lot of really detailed tutorials in there as well. Look, at the end of the day, just fly more is not a bad advice per se. It's just incomplete. To truly evolve and break out of your own limitation, it takes understanding, practice, effort, and a way to the madness. That's the heart of real FPV training. It's not about how many hours you fly, it's about how you use those hours while you are flying. So, are you ready to transform your FPV flying? I hope you are. Here is a playlist of all of the tutorials that I made personally, all of the links to all the interesting things are down below in the description box, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.